just made our Walmart stop mm -hmm. and our Chick fil A stop. Got some biscuits and honey. And, and Texas Pete. Texas Pete. Yep. For so, hot sauce. For hot sauce on the trail. And now mm. we're about to drive up to Tunes Gap. And from Put there, we're going to. Yeah, Eric's putting in the GPS now. And then we're going to head over from there to Caesar's Head. And then from Caesar's Head to Sassafras. And then from Sassafras to Table Rock. So, we're excited. It's going to be a three-day trip. Maybe like 30 miles. Not really sure if I didn't pack it. I didn't do a lot of planning, apparently. Mm, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, we'll update you. Alright, we're here at Jones Gap. Woo! Hey. So, we parked in the tent camping parking we are gonna go to the visitor center and see if they want us to pay for an overnight permit the visitor center is over there it's a really nice visitor center they have lots of merchandise and apparently it's to pay for the map so yeah unfortunately you have to pay for the map so well we didn't pay to come in here yet, so. but if you search mountain bridge wilderness area map on google there's a pdf that somebody put out that's really good that shows you the trails in the area so. Yes. So we're gonna steal that and use that instead. Yep. So Eric is filling out the registration form right now, letting them know that we're gonna be headed to Table Rock. And we will be today on the Jones Gap Trail and then that is going to change over to the Tom Miller Trail. Um, and then we'll be at Caesar's Head and then we'll update you on the trail names from there. So. 11. Raven Cliff Falls. Hey! Okay, let's try to get the cheese back here. So this is our lunch spot. Hey. Out here at, um, Jones Gap Falls. Oh, we got the dog who doesn't even know. And we're chowing down on some Cheese. Mm -hmm. What kind of cheese we got there? Uh, apple, smoked cheddar cheese. Mm. We've gotten the gouda before and really liked it. And the cheddar cheese is also really good. Mm -hmm. I think the gouda is better though. Yeah, I like the smoky gouda flavor better, mm -hmm. but it's still good. And I'm using my brand new Leatherman Wave mm -hmm. Plus on it. We cut the cheese up. It's working really good. Watch, 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 watch. Do a, get a, get a close up. Watch how thin I can slice it. Wow. You won't find that with deli, folks. Mm mm. It's mm. amazing, basically. And I'm chowing down on this tortilla with some peanut butter and honey we picked up from Chick fil A, white pack. They'll give you like a bunch of packs of honey if you want. Yes. Them. Perfect for hiking. Yeah, so. It's Perfect a good. single serving. And it's really cool here by the waterfall, so it's a nice break from the heat of today. Oh, yeah. Mm. So we're at this trail intersection, the fork, mm -hmm. I guess. Yep. And if we go to the left, it's the, which I guess is a portion of the Palmetto Trail. Uh -huh. That is the Orange Trail, which is the Cold Spring Branch Trail. But we want to continue on the Jones Gap Trail here, so we're going to go to the right. Both of them end up at Caesar's Head, but um, this one looks like you do all the climbing at once, so we're just going to continue on the Jones Gap Trail and mm -hmm. just stay the course. We found an unofficial oh. campsite out here, and there's a beautiful waterfall in like a beach area. And then there's a little area for camping out there. So, I'll have to keep that in mind if we come back. Are we recording? Yeah. Okay, so we finished the section of the Jones Gap Trail we're going to do. And now we're going to head up the Tom Miller Trail. It's a little 0.7 mile trail. 
but don't underestimate it. It's going to be a lot of heavy climbing as we're going to climb from the stream bed to the top of Caesar's Head, apparently. Um, and then up there we'll pick up Ravencliff Falls Trail and see where we go. We might pick up maybe some ice cream sandwiches or something. I don't know. Ooh, maybe some trail magic. That's like a good idea. We got, that's where we're going and then the trail, the Jones Gap Trail goes that way across the stream. So. Seems like we probably got about five miles done, give or take. Yeah. By the time we get up to the top we'll have about six. Woo! Let's All get right, it. So. Let's we are at the spur to gum gap we came from we just walked on ravencliff falls trail and uh apparently it's a little hot out here we stopped for some it's hot part. yeah it's hot but um yeah so here's the intersection from ravencliff falls to gum gap and then we're gonna try and find a camp spot along gum gap we've probably been like eight miles so far yeah about eight yeah. If I do another two. Yeah. Miles. Gum got this like 14.3 total. Um, so we, we'll just do a little bit today. That's where we came from on Ravencliff Falls Trail. So it's, a, it's been a beautiful day though. Very green. Seeing lots of beetles and lots of mushrooms and lots of centipedes and bees and the butterflies. Forest the forest is alive. That's right. So we're still on Gum Gap. We came to a little intersection back there and there is a sign um, that was saying that Gum Gap, the actual Gum Gap, is to the left. So we followed the trail to the left. The one to the right, Eric was saying, looks like maybe just a forest service road or something. Um, but that's what you do at that intersection, let's go to the left. take a peek at Ravencliff Falls. It's really neat to see. We're at the top of it and when you go over this suspension bridge you can kind of, um, you're kind of standing on top of the falls as it cascades down and there's another cascade that you can see like it going over the cliff. You can't see the cascade itself but um, just really neat. This is a kind of a good way to approach it because um, the dismal trail is super strenuous so we came at it, we just intersected on the um, Gum Gap Trail, we intersected the Nature Land Trust Trail, or the, the something like that, um, and that's how we were able to access it. It was like less than a mile from the Gum Gap Trail, so really neat, really cool. I have to admit I was a little skeptical if we would find one, but Eric knew we were going to be okay. So we found this campsite, it's like right in front of the Heritage Preserve, I don't remember the name of the Heritage Preserve, but... It's probably, um, I don't know, like a mile from the fork where we passed the, um, what was the camp trail called? The Nature Land Trust Trail. Yeah, yeah. yeah but it's a really nice campsite. And we have our mm. tents mm. set up over here. It might live more green for Yeah, yeah. Not sure. So, and what are we for dinner? Oh, that's cool. Okay. <laughs> it's um chicken mm. alfredo. Mm. Yummy. Yummy. So yeah, it's really good. Good night. We're really glad we found this beautiful site. Alright, so it's day two and um we are on the trail. We started back on the gum gap trail and um we got a little bit of a late start but that's fine because we got into camp. That like 6.30 or so yesterday, we still had a lot of daylight. So right now we're filtering some water. Um, mm -hmm. Silly me. Filter. <laughs> yeah, silly me forgot to bring the um, part of the water Not filter. Silly. I could have. So, um, Erica's nice about it. But um, we're having to use iodine. So 
It actually doesn't, it didn't taste too terrible, but it just takes a little longer for the water to get ready. We're going to pre-filter so. with the bandana. Oh yeah. That's kind of a setup here. Yeah, pre-filtering with the bandana. So. Mm -hmm. To get some of the bigger particles off. Yeah. That is all good. That's where the smart water bottles tend to be a little less advantageous than they usually are, but it's alright. We're rolling with it. So we'll update you. Um, we're headed to Sassafras Mountain today. Should be about um, 12 miles or so. We did about 11 yesterday. So we'll see how it goes. So we made it to oh. Sassafras Mountain. Yes. It was a hard dirty, but we made yeah. it here. And it's beautiful. They just recently put in this overlook and they just did a wonderful job. It's gorgeous. So, and the nice thing about it is that it's not like a super overly popular place. I mean, this is a Friday and nobody's here, so we get the view to ourselves. So, really awesome spot. Thanks. It is really for awesome. For this. <laughs> we decided <sighs> to be lame and leave the trail early. <laughs> Chad's coming with Gatorade. Yeah. <laughs> so, but it was more about Kathleen. Just yeah. Felt I very heat something. Yeah, Eric was good to go. He was doing great. Well, I'm still kind of tired. Yeah, I was having problems of some sort. So, goodbye. <laughs>